Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Real Talk with B. Back at it again, and you know how we do. We just gonna dive right on in. So check this out. One of my uh, subs hit me up and asked me to, you know, speak on the whole uh, Chilling with Walt vibing with Woody situation. And I'm really just now peeping it, but it, it's simple. I could tell I I could tell you exactly what happened, <laughs> and then I'm just now catching a little bit. But at the end of the day, you know, he said he asked you know Walt not to go live. You know what I'm saying? He said his place wasn't cleaned up. I feel that. You know what I'm saying? If you want to straighten up first, you know what I'm saying? Especially you know. In your little in your spot and everything, you don't want to go in there and just be you know what I'm saying unready, like you said, look a fool on there. You know they was all over there sipping, feeling good. You know what I'm saying chilling, vibing, whatever. And like you said, the night was going good, but it got carried away once you know uh, once the jokes start happening. You know what I'm saying. Once them jokes hit and that and that that hen, them drinks, everything was popping, people start thinking stuff funny. You feel me? And it wasn't funny to Woody because he asked him not to go live in his crib because it wasn't presentable at the time. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't I feel that. Cause when the guys is hanging out, you feel me? You know, y'all just chilling. These is people that you hang with every day, you know, your family, your your bros, and you know. Your crib could, well, I keep my, you know, my, my house the same way all the time. So, but if there is ever a time that, you know what I'm saying, you might catch a, a, a shirt on the arm of my couch, which is very, very rare, you know, because, you know, like I said, when I get out the shower, I um I air dry and I look at and I watch TV. So um, it's not there long. You feel me? So. I get that. Your bros know this stuff about you, though. You feel me? They know how your house is. If you are, if you are uh, not a messy person, but if you have your house a certain way, a lot of times whenever they come through and y'all kicking it, y'all family, it ain't no uh, judgment there. You know what I'm saying? You're still in the comforts of your circle. Now, where it went wrong here is what went live. You know what I'm saying? So nine times out of 10, they act that way all the time. They throw the jokes out. They, they do it amongst each other. That's how me and my bros and, uh, do it. We clown each other. We get in an argument. Somebody say something too crazy and all of that. But the difference is it's not out there. You feel me? It's not on the social media. Don't nobody know what took place. The only people that know what take place is the people in the house. So where it went wrong at, is Walt went live. I had heard somebody say that um, Walt only did one thing wrong. Well, no, you know, they did more than one thing wrong. You know, they started talking about, you know, not only did you go live when you was asked not to, um, y'all start uh, spilling the beans and, and, and telling some info that only that inner circle supposed to know. You feel me? Um, at the end of the day, what what y'all know for each other, that's for the that's for the circle. It's not for everybody else. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna say this too, and I'm not gonna I'm not gonna step over a line, but I am gonna say this: we all got people that when they uh, get intoxicated, past the limit of, you know. Uh, what is it like to pass drunk, pass, you know, whatever, pass out. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got a relative. Everybody got bros. Everybody got fam, uh, sis, sisters. Uh, everybody got everybody that might lose their uh, function sometimes. You feel me? That's not the judge. I mean, it was just because I, I guarantee you that man didn't do, do nothing crazy like that, you know, sober. You feel me? So it's like that sometimes, but it ain't supposed to be put out there like that. You know what I'm saying? Not with people, not with unknowns. And when I say unknowns, I'm meaning it like, you know, 
you know, our subscribers are not unknown to us. I'm saying like the people who was not there when it occurred, when it happened. You feel me? It wasn't supposed to be a told story to anybody outside. Now, y'all can jam on each other while y'all, you know, uh, chilling at night and stuff like that. But we are, I'm not saying. No, nah, because I'm. I, I was going to say what well, went wrong for feeling like he wanted to go live. But. Bro asked you not to go live. He didn't want his house shown like that. You feel me? Uh, now, they ain't talking right now. You know, vibing with Woody said that, you know, he still got love for bro. It happens. Right now, though, he just ain't talking to him right now. And and I feel that. You know, I've had periods where, you know, uh, I don't hang with people. Well, I don't anyway, but they'd be all right. They bros, you know. Vibe, vibe and Woody, he just got a, uh, I mean, he ain't got to do nothing, but just it's just one of those points to where, you know, he got to get over it in his own time, man. You know, you sat over there and told everybody out there in the YouTube community something that this man probably didn't want nobody to know, you feel me? Something that a grown man would be like, bro, man, what the heck, man? Like, you know how that made me look? You know how that made me feel, bro? Like, not only did you go live in my crib, now y'all over here joning on me, and y'all took it past the line of, you know what I'm saying, humor and funny, you feel me? So, you know, then I seen, you know, Woody had got on the camera on Walt's Live, you know, gave his little pun back, you know, tried to be funny with it. Tried to kind of brush it, but he was still trying to tell him, y'all got to roll, bro. But wasn't nobody moving. It, it got out of hand. That's what it was. It's the, you know, the, with the alcohol and then the jokes and then the funny. And then it just so happened. Walt was recording. That's what happened. You know what I'm saying? I promise you, everybody out there know. Everybody who out there is real know that when y'all get, when some people, when y'all get together, especially fellas. Bros get into it when they get to sipping, you know what I'm saying, on that on that devil juice. You know what I'm saying? It happens. Y'all just don't see it, you feel me? And whatever we tell people to make it funny, we just leave out, you know, the the over the top stuff. But I get why uh Woody upset. I I can see that. And he he he, he seemed hurt by it to be honest. But he said he's going to keep on moving. They they make up on their own time, you know what I'm saying? I think Walt owe him an apology. I think uh, his cousin owe him an apology. They just went a little too far with it, and it like I said, it happens. Now if it didn't have, now if it wasn't on camera, these dudes would still be kicking it, still be all that, no love lost because that's what y'all do amongst each other. But it's the fact that you know that we know that. It was showed and told to all of us. And that's what the biggest problem is. It's not really the fact that he said it or they said it or they was clowning him. It's the fact that they clowned him while on live and all of YouTube saw it. You feel me? That's what the issue is. Don't get it twisted. It's not the fact that they was joning on each other or spilling the beans. It's, it's only spilling the beans because it was leaked out to the public. You know what I'm saying? But within the circle, they go at each other like that. I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> That's all it was, man. You know, Walt said he'd get over it. And, and you know, they going to, um, he just, he don't got to go over there and stuff like that. I, mean, I guess you could look at it like that. But they'll be all right, man. It, this is one of those things that'll blow over and they'll be cool, man. They just got the, you know. Walt gonna have to be like, yeah, bro, man, my bad, dog. His cousin probably already hit him up because I think this was like two days or three days ago, I think, or something like that. So his cousin probably hit him up already, but I know Walt had did a video uh, with uh, that Dre JJ, and he had mentioned, you know, he don't got to go over there a little bit. But at the end of the day, man, you got to, you got and when you, when you do something at fault with your guys, you got to make up for it, man. You got to, 
I went and uh <laughs> y'all I had a night man where similar to that night, right? And uh me and my cuz we had uh exchanged some words and you know uh we got the wrestling around, you know what I'm saying? And uh and I'm bigger than everybody, right? So uh I'm I'm stronger. So you know, I get the feeling bad, you know, the next day. <laughs> and this is one of those situations where I'm telling you, see, I could tell y'all certain stuff now, you know what I'm saying? But I'm never going to you know, go past what I'm supposed to say to y'all, you feel me? But it's the funny part is that um the next day one of my cousins walked off. It left the house we was at. I, I was acting, man, I was showing my tail. And uh, we don't know where he walked off to. But the next day I woke up and I'm like, oh, bruh, man, I got to go apologize to fam and them, man. Like, I know I'm over here bullying boys. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I had picked a song. And it was the song from uh, Set It Off that, what is it? What, what what did I use? The one missing you, and they know because and we joke, you know what I'm saying? That's what we we joke. We do quote movies, we do all that stuff. So anyway, I got up, got in my car, drove over to cousin broker yet, and I knocked on the door. Now fam, he he got his, he can hear it. I ain't gonna tell you how he can hear it, but he can hear it. Okay. Well, I turn my phone on loud, put it against the door. Soon as he heard me he's like come in i open the door it's though i'm missing you <laughs> and it just started playing that song y'all know the song and um it i did it to get the laugh out it wasn't necessarily the song it's just the fact that i did it and the song that i picked and we went in there man shook hands shook it up you know what i'm saying we was good but that's how we we are though we we a man we a clown like a mug and then you know it's just one of those things, man. It was it was funny though. This was like last year sometime though, but that's what I say. They they gonna be all right, man. It's just gonna take you know for one to be like, hey, bro, my bad, man. You know I was tripping. In this case, it's gonna have to be Walt because he was asked not to do it. You know what I'm saying. That's like if you come to my house and I tell you, hey, uh, uh-uh, man, hey, no smoking in here. And then you light up in my house anyway? Nah, bro. Get out. You got to go. I don't have to worry about that. But that's just an um, example of what he did. I mean, I mean, smoking and showing your house when it's messy is a little different. But metaphorically, I'm saying it's the same thing, you know. So I don't know what his subscribers are saying. And some of them be like, you know, you was wrong for throwing Walt out. Mm. I would say if if it was just for going live, I wouldn't have threw him out. But once they start saying what they said about um his functions, then you become within your right because now you didn't took it too far. See, what he might have been able to be okay, the live, and then walk cut the live off, no harm, no foul. But you fouled like a mug when you started, you know what I'm saying, throwing out the shade and the dirt in there. You feel me? You can't do that. You can't do that, man. You can't. Some stuff you just do not say to to, to anybody. It's not even just on YouTube. If you out in the street, right, y'all at the basketball court at the park, and y'all, you know what I'm saying, hooping and stuff, and, you know, uh, tempers get in it, right? Man, man, you old beat man, nigga, you man, you know what I'm saying? Everybody start saying their stuff. I'm like, nigga, that's why last night you went and mean in a bit. You know what I'm saying? And you over there like, bro, really? That's what we on now? That's what we on. Over a basketball game, you gonna start telling my bitch, cause you know what I'm saying? That, that that's some crazy stuff like that. You don't do that. You know what I'm saying? Like, they'd be all right though. This ain't no, you know, big spat, no big crazy nothing. At the end of the day, though, 
you gonna have to watch your liquor, bro, around them, cause and they they, they, they said it once, they might say it again. Nah, I'm just playing. But nah, bro. And then some of y'all will go, some of y'all will be like, and I know some of y'all thought it like, man, you a grown man and doing such and such, or you a grown woman doing such and such. You need to get up and go to the bed. You know what I'm saying? Some people, when they get to a certain point, they just out of it. They just out of it. But if it happened in his house, then it's his, his furniture. <laughs> so, I mean, mm, I don't know. I ain't never did it. Never going to do it. Never got that, you know. But I do know people that have done it. And I, I'll never tell it. <laughs> you feel me? But, you know, it's all, you know, everybody knows somebody. So don't don't sit over there and be talking crazy about Woody and, don't be talking, you know, calling him names and all that stuff if that's what y'all do. Keep it positive, man. If anything, you know, just tell people to drink less. You know what I'm saying? But the video that I seen, though, Woody seemed cool. And I heard, you know, uh, I peeped a little bit of him in one of Walt's videos when it was at a restaurant. And, you know, Walt, Walt think highly of Woody. So, you know, he he get back around to it. And I think I think. Walter do the right thing off camera and he'll hit him up. That's you know, if he hasn't already, like I said, I think this was like two days ago, two, three days ago. So I hope they they're gonna patch it up, man. They be all right. That's what bros do. And to the females out there, that's what sisses do. Is that what y'all would call it? Sisses? That's what the sisses crew would do. I don't know, seasters, whatever y'all call y'all selves to each other. But nah, man, this this is a this is something that actually happens. So I like talking about this. Dang, it went dark on me. There you go. I actually like talking about it because, you know, I like talking about stuff that uh really happens. You know what I'm saying? And crazily, this is something that happens a lot. <laughs> And people just don't know because it's not caught on camera. So <clears throat> I would say if you and your people uh, are sipping on the camera and doing all that stuff, just be mindful of what you're saying. Try not to get, you know what I'm saying? I know some people get that ignorant juice and they don't think about nothing, bro. But once it, once you say something, it's out there. You feel me? Especially on here. So you got to be mindful, especially when you're on this platform. And you're doing that stuff. You know what I'm saying? Get off the camera and then do y'all's jokes like that. And I think, you know, that would have been better off. But I don't know what I'm at. Uh, yeah, 18. So I ain't going to hold y'all too long this morning. I felt like I wanted to get up and get it knocked out, get it out the way and talk to y'all real quick. You know what I'm saying? Um, but till next time, I'm out of here. Peace. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm out.